Hi guys, welcome back. So now here uh, in this session, I'll just uh, ask certain questions. These questions can be asked if you write the certification exam or else you can treat it as a quizzes. Okay, SAP FICO quiz you can you can see. So few questions I'm going to ask you have to answer or else you take the plain paper and a pen and see the questions, write down the answers. At the end of the video, I'll show you the answer. You can match the answer and then you can think like how many are matching, how many answers you have given correctly. So let me start here the question number one. The question number one is, and this is for S4 HANA. So here the question number one is, in SAP FICO, which report is used to display the line item of a general ledger account? So look at here the answers I have given, FSZ LL03, F.03, F.03, FBL1N, FC, H1. Now what is the correct answer that you need to note it down at last? I will explain. I'll show the answer also. You can match your answer. Okay, the next question is, how is the foreign currency trans, uh, transaction posted in SAP FICO? So four answers are there. Use, using the exchange rate at the end of the fiscal year, using the exchange rate at the time of document posting, using the average exchange rate for the month, and using the exchange rate at the time of document entry. Now, so what is the correct answer again? You can select here, you can choose, you can write. Now the next question is, and I'll show the answer also, no need to worry. Next question is here. How does SAP FICO handle foreign currency transactions in general ledger? So we are having four options. You have to read it out. You have to check it like by using exchange rate difference account, by converting all the transactions to local currency, by creating separate ledger for each currencies, by ignoring foreign foreign currency trans, uh, what do you say, transactions. So these are the answers which I have specified, which one is the correct that you have to note it down. Now, the fourth, so total five questions I'll ask. This is the first, fourth questions and even some other videos also will be recorded. Multiple questions are there. So multiple videos will be recorded uh, for this quizzes and all. Now, so here in SAP FICO, what is the purpose of financial statement version? Home financial statement version, FS, FSV, right? Financial, what is the use of FSV? If you know, then you guys will be able to answer this. To define the structure and layout of financial statement to configure the data backup and restore the procedure to define the user roles and authorizations to maintain the employee master data. So what is the correct answer that you have to specify in the sense you write it down and at last the answer I'll show you. Now here the last question. What does the term reconciliation account refer to? in SAP FICO. So look at here, an account used for reporting purposes, an account used for balance sheet item, an account used for open item management, an account used for vendor payment. So what is the correct answer? Just you note it down. Okay, so now it's time for answer. You can match your answer here. Let's have a look the first question. This is the first question in SAP FICO, which report is used to display the line item in general ledger account. FSZLL03, uh, this is what the transition code which is going to be used. F03, FBL1N. Some of you might have thought like FBL1N, but guys, even in ECC also, if you check FBL1N is not for GL, this is for vendor open item report, right? So the correct answer is A. Now, the next question is how are the foreign currency trans transactions posted in SAP FICO? So look at here using the exchange rate at the time of document posting of course whenever you guys are going to post a transactions now what is happening sap will check the exchange rate which is specified in exchange rate table so which exchange rate when you post the transactions right transaction posting is nothing but document posting when you post the transactions system will check the exchange rate right and as per that what is happening guys whatever the foreign currency uh, amount is there in foreign currency that will be converted into local currency as per the rate which you have specified in exchange rate table, right? So B is the correct answer. Now here, how does SAP FICO handle the foreign currency transactions in general ledger? So the answer is A, by using exchange rate difference account here. Now the question number four, in SAP FICO, what is the purpose of financial statement version? to define the structure and layout of financial statement. It's pretty simple. Uh, I hope you guys are like, if you know this financial statement version, what is this? 
of course you are going to define you are going to set up a structure itself right structure and layout itself you have to create like multiple nodes again under that multiple sub nodes can be created as per the requirement given by client right so answer correct answer is a and the last question is what does the term reconciliation account refers to in sab fico so the correct answer is account an account used for balance sheet item whenever you set up this reconciliation account uh, you always have to you have to select this balance sheet itself right this is a balance sheet item and uh, generally if you talk about reconciliation account reconciliation account means what it shows a uh, you know like what a consolidated figure is going to be shown by the reconciliation account if we talk talk in terms of vendor for vendor we set up reconciliation account so it shows the consolidated figure of what total payable right no matter you are having 100 vendors but one reconciliation account will be created and that is assigned to every vendor in the sense when you create the master data in that the reconciliation account will be there right so whatever whether in acc you are going to create the vendor in in uh, what to say or customer account but here in esporana bp business partner there also you'll be having you'll be having the same concept and no? reconciliation account you have to set up and you have to assign right so this reconciliation account shows the consolidated figure of total payable receivables even for asset also we can create the reconciliation accounts and all so hope you guys are understand the logic so this is what the total now this is what the answers you can match like how many of the answers you have given like how many answers you have given correct correct answer you, have, you guys have given and multiple sessions will be there on this so please don't forget to subscribe this channel and there are multiple sessions which will be uploaded